Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I can't believe we are in 2023. So I am sitting here with my candle going, I have a little cup of tea, but um, I wanted to talk to you guys about some habits, some things that I want to incorporate into my life in the year 2023. So if you are looking for some habits, intentions, dreams, any of those, th of those things, this is the video for you if you need a few ideas. Um, I wrote down everything on my phone. I labeled it habits for the new year. So I think the rule of thumb is if you do something 20 days in a row, it actually becomes a habit and becomes part of your routine. So when you guys see me read these, this is more things that I just want to include in that routine just to enhance um, our day-to-day -day goings. So let's just jump right into this. Let me know down below, do you guys make a dream board or do you make a goal board for the new year? Um, and how does that work? I thought making a video would be so special. It's something that I can look back on and we can just see how we did. Did those things turn into habits? Did they fail? Who knows? So I'm excited to share some of these habits that I want to incorporate into my life for this new season. So the first one is to start each day with a good sweat. And you guys know I do this already, but I want to, it's just important to get the heart pumping, to sweat out those toxins, to sweat out those um, bad thoughts. And it's just creates a good start to the day. So this could be if you even go to the gym. This could be just taking a few, a walk around the block. This could be um, doing a yoga video on YouTube. So this is just so expansive. Um, just, but getting a good sweat in, this could be just going into the sauna each day and just starting your day with a clear mind and a clear heart. The next habit that I want to create and incorporate into my daily routine for 2023 is reading is knowledge. In 2020, I actually started reading again. I hadn't read for years for pleasure. Um, as you guys know, I my profession was a teacher right now. I stay at home now with uh, my daughter, but my profession was a teacher, so I used to read all the time to the children, books and different literature, but I never read for pleasure. So in 2020, when things took a drastic change, it got me back into reading. Last year, we, uh, you guys know we moved to Texas. There was so many big things going on that I didn't read as many books as I would have liked to. So in 2022, I want to, I put reading is knowledge and power. Expand your vocab vocabulary and it opens your mind. And I just wanna dive back into that more. A good place for me to read is I do, in the mornings I walk my daughter in, but in the afternoons I do the car pickup line. Um, she's in kindergarten, so, in the car pickup line, I like to come at a decent time, so I'm nice and close, but um, those are great opportun opportunities for me to read. Um, I just got a new book. I always share my literature that I'm reading online, but I would love to join a book club in our Dallas, Texas area. So that's something that I'm also going to be working on because I would love to get to discuss what we're reading with other people and just go over the thoughts and just um, garner knowledge from others who share the same passion as me. So joining a book, book club is something I definitely want to do. Maybe it even be a virtual one, but I would love to have one that I go to once a month and discuss the literature that I read with others that have the same interests. The next one is, I wrote, quiet moments are the best. Start each day with some quiet moments. Incorporate meditation or just sitting in silence with tea. And this morning was the first morning I actually did it. Um, I took my breakfast outside and on our back patio and I sat on our little chair back there and no phone, no like, social media or anything and I just sat there and I ate my breakfast and I looked at the beautiful sky and just took in the scenery that was around. I breathed in the fresh air and depending on your climate, I know that is something that may not be feasible for everybody to go sit outside 
um, and enjoy that weather, but just sitting inside, grabbing some tea, lighting a candle, and eating your breakfast like that. Or um, maybe it's not even during breakfast time. Maybe you're getting up before the kids, and because I know many of us are either working moms or just moms um, that stay at home with our littles, but finding some time in your day to have those quiet moments and I just feel more refreshed and then ready to take on the day and um, to conquer all the things that I need to do. So just, I'm really gonna be intentional with trying to find those quiet moments every single day. Um, the next one I put incorporate a rest day, no social media, just unplug. And we actually started this last Saturday, even though it wasn't the new year yet. But um, I unplugged off of Instagram and just kind of let everybody, I would be back tomorrow. But I think that's going to be my new rest day. And I'm just going to live in the moment. And um, I think it is healthy to have a good balance between scrolling and social media and regular life. So that's just something I want to incorporate and usually Saturdays me and my husband will do our date nights either um, outside of our home or inside of our home those nights. So just making Saturday such a family day and unplugging and just living in those moments and I'm excited to do that. The next one is work towards calming the mind and calming the soul. So I am a very like um, high strung, I would say person. Maybe you guys didn't know this about me, but I like things orderly, tidy. I'm very routine based and I can be, I always say I live in a state of stress and it's not even like big stressors. It could be like during Christmas time if I have to plan my daughter's party or plan a party at our house, like too many things. I just always live in a state of always just being stressed about something and I just want to work on and I think having those quiet moments each day will help with that. Just quieting the mind, quieting the soul, and before I stress about something, <laughs> just taking a deep breath and realizing that most things that I do stress about, and I'm aware of this, I just need to get better with it. They're not even big deals. Like, I take one little pee that's not really much and make it like a giant mole, like a giant hill, and it's really just a little pee. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I just want to work on calming my mind, my body, and my soul, and just relaxing a little bit, and not being so high stress, high, st you know, all the time about everything. Like I said, it's mostly very small things, but uh, and we're all gonna get stressed, and we're all gonna be, you know, have difficult times and stuff like that in our lives. But every situation isn't a situation for me to go be stressing and feeling like it's a level 10. Like some situations are like a level two stressor and I just need to work on that. The next one is to con continue to make our house a home. Um, I, we've lived in our home for about five months now. So continue to add small touches that really cozy up our home. And we have, I have tons of ideas for the new year um, of things that we're gonna do just to continue to take. We bought a new built home, if you guys didn't know, um, in the Dallas, Texas area. But just continuing to take our builder home and just add those little touches to make it us and cozy. Um, living in a grateful heart each day, documenting one thing that you are grateful for. And this could be just saying it out loud um, when I have my talks with God um, daily. So just saying things that I am grateful for. And I may incorporate this when I do uh, sit outside and have my, or in here and have those quiet moments, just making sure I am speaking into the world the things that I am actually grateful for. And you can write these down so you can look back on how wonderful would that be to make your own grateful book for the 
every day of the year, you would write down something and then looking back on that um, next year. That would be pretty awesome. So maybe I'll document a few, but just at least speaking them out loud and uh, just acknowledging the things that I am really grateful for because we do live such a great life and I am immensely grateful for so many things, but just actually saying them or writing them down. I need to work on that. Um, the other one is deepening your relationship with friends. So we have met some amazing people here in the Dallas area and Jess and all of us are moms, of course, so we're super busy. We have like kids at school, all of that stuff, but just taking the time to call a friend out. A few of us are actually uh, stay-at-home moms, but just being more proactive with calling friends to have coffee and all those things because the time that I do spend with the friends that we made here is so special and so precious, and it does make my heart happy. So having more of those times and deepening those relationships relationships. And then the last one that I had is we have this beautiful home and we've done so much work to it already. And it is brand new, but we've added like our little touches onto it. Um, more little touches onto it. But um, I just want to host more. Um, host more you know, maybe we do a Valentine's Day party at our house each year. I feel like those little things deepen your home and make it more that house, that home. So hosting more, having people people into our home and creating those memories. So that is it. That's just all um, of the habits um, I want to incorporate into my every day um, in the next few months. And I hope that this gave you guys some ideas, some inspiration of dreams or intentions that you want to incorporate as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. <music>